the exciting thing here is that, you know, what Natalie's shown with that work is that when you have this kind of dynamic training, but also these low load isometrics, you get as much of an increase in strength over this population of say 500 to 600 climbers that we were looking at. You get the same amount of strength increase if you only did max hangs and you only did these low load isometrics. And what the Abrahangs are telling us is that that force transfer that you get from having those low load, longer duration isometrics is actually really important for strength overall. I think in addition to strength, the finger health component is also really important. So I've never really felt strong enough. I'm a boulder and then my fingers have always been kind of like too weak to really do any max intensity stuff. I kind of limited board climbing a lot. Uh, I never did like max hangboard workouts. And then when I started working on this project, I was like, well, it's going to be kind of embarrassing if I don't try it myself. So I tried it. I was like, whoa, I got this initial big strength gain. But since then, it's kind of like maintained. And I think the biggest thing I've taken from it is that I use it as a warm up routine and I've felt my fingers have never been healthier. I've been able to start doing kind of more like max intensity hangs without feeling any tweakiness. And I haven't been injured since I started doing them, which is crazy because I always get injured. So I think for me, I'm really excited about the health component as well. And I, I do them kind of religiously to warm up. And I think they're great personally.